What's up, Rockstars and Lambs? It's Josh Cooley coming to you from Rockstars and Lambs here in Pueblo, Colorado. I just wanted to tell you hello. It's been a little bit since I've done a video. Um, lots, 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 and lots of things have been going on. Um, craziness. I'll take my glasses off. I can't stand the glare when I'm looking at the camera. So, sitting on the floor in the lather lounge right now. Um, it's the end of the day. We just finished up. Um, it's been kind of a, a lean week. And um, I guess that's okay because it gives me a chance to think, but I'd prefer to be really busy. Um, some big things going on this week, I think. Um, I've been dealing with this thing where I don't know if everybody's 100% about me or not about me. And I can tell you, I think that about two days ago, I'm finally over it. Um, I can only ask so many questions for mutual friends about friends, if that makes sense. When you're trying to ask, somebody else about what somebody else thinks about you, you should have just asked the person directly. Um, so don't, don't do that. Don't, don't use mutual friends against each other. Don't try to pump them for information. It doesn't get you anywhere. It makes you look like you talk about everybody. I'm learning my lesson. Um, I think everybody was really, really um, just kind of speechless when they found out that there was a ban that was approved in North Carolina this week. Um, a ban approved for um, same-sex marriages. Um, in Colorado, um, there was a bill that was being discussed on the floor and it was dismissed. And then um, the governor wants it to be talked about again. You know, being a gay man, I don't like to get too into the issues. I've always kind of just removed myself from all the gay issues. But when all that went down this week with North Carolina and having it in my own home state and seeing how people use their faith and use their morals against a certain group of people, being the gay community. I really am upset with the bullying that's going on in the world today. Bullying is happening, happening in the schools because of the fact that we have bullying in politics. When you, yourself, are a conservative group telling another group of people that they cannot get married and that their love is not real and it should not be validated, you, my friends, are big bullies. And when you hide behind the Word of God and the Bible, you are using the Word of God in vain. I don't care how many people don't like that. I don't care how many people don't agree with me. I don't care how many people are going to tell me that homosexuality is an abomination. I think you are an abomination for being a bad human being. Did I judge you right now? Yes. Are we all sinners? Yes. Is sinning kind of fun? Yeah. Um, but you know what? It has nothing to do with if you sin or if you believe in the Bible or God or whatever. I don't find any bigotry to be Christ-like, and I don't like it. There was a lot of stuff on Facebook that really erupted from a family member this week. Um, and they started spitting Bible verses at me and telling me that they're praying for my eternal soul. My word to those people, don't pray for my soul and quit worrying about me. It's really not that big a deal. And if you really don't like my views, don't look at my page. You don't have to associate with me. Sometimes we have to not associate with people that drag us down. And I refuse to be dragged down by family or friends for that matter, which is really kind of, you know, sad. In other news, like the next day after I got in the big old Facebook fight about gay marriage, um, Vidal Sassoon, who was a really great mentor and inspiration to me, passed away this week. And Vidal, you know, was in the 60s, he created the five-point method of cutting, and we still use it today in modern hairdressing. He is the one who really, really made the celebrity stylist what they are today. In the 70s, he was a big educator, started academies all over the world, opened tons of salons, and in the 80s, he was a talk show host and a brand. Um, throughout his life, he really contributed um, in philanthropic acts, and he was genuinely a great human being. I will miss him greatly. I did have a little crybaby moment when I found that he died, but he was such a great soul, and so I'm actually going to look at getting a lithograph made for Rockstar and Lambs and putting Vidal in my salon because I just loved that man. I loved him like he was a distant relative of mine. And you know, the man didn't come from money, he didn't come from anything. He was actually uh, raised in an orphanage in London. And he was Jewish and Jews were not accepted in the day. Kind of like gay people are not accepted right now for being who they are, loving who they love. And you know, he never, ever, ever, ever blamed his hard upbringing um, ever in his success. He never 
had a sad story. And I'm inspired by that. And so it's kind of funny because when I hear myself talking about all the sad things that happened, just think of Vidal. Vidal didn't focus on those things. He just went on and became a brand and became this amazing man. Part of all the things that have been going on this week between watching my own videos and working on the blog and working on Hot Mess, Hot Mess Volume 3 comes out next week. I'm very excited. The very first one that comes out is called An Ugly Personality Ruins a Pretty Face. It's about having a shit attitude when you're an attractive person. And then I'm working on a few other things. We have um, a request from people to talk about why do women or why do men fall for douchebags or dirt bags, if you will, because they can't print douchebags in um, papers. Um, and so it's called The Nice Guy Finishes Last. And I'm noticing that quite a bit, that if you have some integrity, you tend to finish last. And that if you are number one, one is the loneliest number. The other one that I'm um, really be being inspired by, I'm looking at my notes as I talk to you, for Hot Mess, and I'm going to work on it a little bit tonight and get it drafted, is um, about dirty little secrets. I um, recently have been in the loop talking about and talking and finding information regarding friends of mine that have just left me for no reason when I got ready to open the salon and I have found some dirty little secrets in the cracks and for me that's inspired another chapter in the hot mess book and it will be a column at one point and it will be called dirty little secrets are still dirty it's a little scandalous so this week has been crazy cried for Vidal totally had an uproar on Facebook over gay marriage and now I'm gonna stir the pot a little bit with my column hmm what does Josh have up his sleeve next, I ask you? There's so much coming, Lambs, and I can't wait to divulge more. Look for Hot Mess in Beyond the Fold. Read my new um, Living Fabulously that came out. You can go to accolatesonline.com and click on Living Fabulously with Josh. That's a brand new one that came out. It's about unfriending. Talk to you later. Go to joshcooley.com. Bye-bye.